All right guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, we are going to be looking at a noise canceling pair of headphones that are only retails for $200. Now, when you look at Bose and some of the higher end noise canceling headphones, you're gonna be spending $350 to $400. So these come in at almost half the price and are they worth it? So today we're gonna look at the Sennheiser 4.50 BTNC. All right, so right off the bat, you can tell this has the usual Sennheiser look. They kind of look just like this. In fact, I think this box and this design is exactly the same. They just changed a little bit of the information. But this video is not going to be comparing the 4.50 to the 4.0 or 3.0. If you guys want that, just let me know below and we could possibly do that. All right, so right off the bat, we're going to look at accessories. Now, this one comes with a pretty good size carrying, I want to call it a carrying pouch. I don't think you can really call this a carrying case. Um, it gives you more than enough room for the headphones themselves and then all of your cables. Uh, it has simple branding of a Sennheiser tag right here, uh, but other than that, it's pretty simple. Uh, inside, you do have a pouch to be able to hold the cables. And so speaking of cables, what you get is a micro USB cable for charging. Uh, these headphones, because of being Bluetooth and have noise canceling, need to be powered, and they get about 23 hours of battery life. Uh, but if you don't want to use them wirelessly, you do have the option to use them wired. Comes with a three and a half millimeter cable as far as to plug into your phone or tablet. Uh, but again, with Sennheiser, they have the proprietary cable on this end to be able to plug it in and twist and lock, uh, which is really good if you have Sennheiser headphones, but it's not good if you lose them because it's not as easy to replace. All right, so on to the headphones themselves. Now, if you're looking at them now, they look pretty similar to the 3.0 and the 4.0. The silver color on here is lighter uh, than the other two. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. So on the headband, you have a very, very small like rubber silicone uh, type padding. But again, you don't need much on these because they don't weigh much. Uh, branding is very minimal. You have Sennheiser logos on the outside of both, uh, but then simple Sennheiser right up here at the top. Um, your left and right are marked on the inside. Uh, again, these do fold down, so your left and right's right above the hinges that fold. Uh, there's no design on the ear cup themselves. On the left side is where you have your NFC pairing, so that if you have a device that has NFC, you just simply tap it and it'll pair. Okay, so back onto the headphones themselves. Um, all your controls are on the right side and they're all placed behind you. Now, the reason that's important is you don't have all your controls up front touching around, you just kind of feel back here. Um, on the bottom, you have your micro USB port, uh, you have your headphone jack, you have your volume rocker, you have the slider that switches your track forward and backward, uh, and then up top you have your power button, which is also your pairing button. When you're wearing these, you'll notice that on the right hand side, there's a little microphone right up front. That is for you to be able to take calls. And I also noticed when taking calls that what it did was it turned on my environment around me. So it felt like I was talking to somebody in the room. And what that does is it keeps you from yelling uh, whenever you're talking to somebody on the phone. Now the ear cups of these are extremely soft. They are designed in a way they're considered over the ear, but they could be on ear for most people. Uh, but because of the padding, it's soft. It's comfortable, you could wear them for hours and you won't have any issues. So now on to the most important part, we're gonna jump right into the sound because we want to know these at $199, are they worth the sound? Do they have the noise canceling feature? I mean, is it really good? Is it worth that price tag? I can tell you based off the noise canceling, as soon as you put them on, it really does block out a lot of the stuff going on around you. And it honestly competes noise canceling wise to the pairs that are twice as much. Now, does it block out as much? Maybe not, but it is really close. Um, when I had the noise canceling on, I wasn't really able to hear anybody talking around me, uh, any rumbling noises, anything like that. These do an incredible job at blocking that out. So if you're somebody that travels or somebody wants to use these at work and wants to block a lot of stuff out, and you don't want to spend a fortune, you could pretty much get amazing noise canceling for half the price. How do they sound? Do they sound Yes, they're $200, but are you just paying for noise canceling, but are you getting really good sound as well? Well, these are really damn good. 
really, really good. And what I mean by that is yes, you get punchy bass. It kind of falls in the line of the 4.30 and the 4.40. Uh, but I also noticed with these, they felt like they had a much cleaner sound. Like the higher and the mid range just came through a lot more crisp as to where the other ones had more of a warm sound signature. I didn't feel like these had that warm sound signature. Um, with the bass being punchy, uh, the mid range and the treble were also prominent as well. So treble is really crisp, mid range uh, vocals sound really good. It's just, honestly, for $200, if, if you are looking for a noise canceling pair of headphones, these are gonna be hard to pass up simply because what you're getting all in one package. I mean, you're getting headphones that have 23, they, they show up as 25 hours of battery life. I seem to get about 23. That's really close and too close to be picky about. But to be able to get that kind of noise canceling, to be able to get that incredible sound, and if you're a business person, the microphone on here, if you're taking phone calls, so if you're on a plane and you're traveling, you're just listening to whatever and somebody calls in, to be able to just answer it and not yell and come through crystal clear, that's a plus as well. So Sennheiser with their consumer friendly line, now obviously they have the high end studio line, but these kind of fall in and they're competing with Beats and headphones like that. They pretty much put Beats to shame because the Beats studio line, which has noise canceling in it, costs what, 350 to $400? Maybe it's, and honestly just doesn't even have the noise canceling that these do. So Sennheiser, once again, sound obviously they know what they're doing. It also uses Sennheiser's app that you can download on the app store to be able to fine tune these to get the exact sound that you want. But I honestly found that I didn't need to do that. They sounded great right out of the box and that's great. If there's anything that I would be nitpicky about and, and again, and it's just because you have to find something. Um, I just feel because of the headband being thin and being small and some of this being small, you do worry a little bit about these snapping at some point. Now, obviously, I can bend them this way. Nobody's head's that big, but at least if you pull them and catch on something, they're not going to snap. You can twist them and, and they're good. And the fact that these fold down, I don't feel like they're going to break. But if there's any concern at all, I just wish that maybe it had a slightly thicker headband. But then you're adding weight to your headphones and adding bulkiness and some people just don't want that. And also the sound stage on these are really impressive for a closed back pair of headphones. I was able to pick up sounds um, all around and it didn't feel like it was just right here in front of me. It felt really spread out. That is also a plus with gaming because I use these plugged into the Nintendo Switch and it sounded great. So this honestly could be your one stop shop if you're looking looking for a pair of headphones. So anyway guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys for all the support on all the other videos. And as always guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.